That was a weird race, but we started moving pretty hard with like a mile to go, so I was just trying to, I tried to hold a little bit back because I knew that some guys had probably gone a little too early and I could work off them in the last eight or 600 meters. Were you hoping for a, a slow race? Um, I mean, I, th I would like to say I was ready for anything, um, but when it started off slow, I was a little, I mean, I was pleased. I've got decent 1500 meter speed. I run. So if it was going to be slow, it would work more in my favor. But I mean, I I prepared pretty well for this race. Just my training all year. So I was I was ready for fast or slow, but I was glad it did go slow yeah. once it started out. So are you, are you happy with second? Are you disappointed you didn't get the win? How are you feeling about the result? Um, I'm, I mean, I'm over the moon with second. Um, I'm kind of a... I guess like you know I was kind of flying very under the radar coming into here and I mean I hadn't really I mean I hadn't had done anything like outstanding leading up to this so I mean there was no reason for anyone to expect that I was going to come second I just would like to say I mean I had a great race today so um I think in my head I thought if I came fifth that would have been I'd have been probably just been just as happy but you know getting second perform over performing my expectations is even better just fucking try and catch him like <laughs> just try and you know just like lock onto the finish line and hope and hope i could get him but i mean grant and justin are hell of an uh you know i was i was getting there but i mean you know, like there wasn't really much going through my mind that last hundred meters, except just run as hard as you, run as hard as I can. And uh, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I'll come back next year and try and win it. And yeah. I know it just happened, but does getting second in NCAA change the way you think about yourself as a runner or an athlete? Um, I mean, obviously not like right now, but I think um, in the future I'll take this as a great experience, and I think it's going to help me going forward. Because I mean, I've never, I've never run it like I've never, I've never run at Hayward Field or NCAA Outdoors. So, come like coming here for the first time was a great experience. But I mean, you know, like, I think I'll take from this that you know I, I sort of I know I have to try and think of myself as one of the better runners now. And you know, through cross country and then next indoor and outdoor, I've got to I guess try uh, you know try and consistently be a little higher higher up in the finishing in, like in finishing races because I mean I was kind of like I said I was sort of just like doing well but not being one of those top guys so yeah I've got I think there'll be more expectation on me to be one of those guys now and so I've got to be ready for that you might give uh, Craig Engel some run for his money on his facial hair <laughs> nah he's been I think he wins that competition hands down it's like I mean Man bun's okay, but that was kind. Of, it's like everyone was doing it at one point. I think he's the only one that's sort of doing the, I mean, the, the mullet and mustache and stuff. I mean, Craig, like I race Craig all the time in the SEC, at like SEC championships and things. Um, I think Ole Miss is kind of known for having facial hair and things. This is actually like I got I, um, I'm like being Australian. I got a little bit of inspiration from Aussie legend Hugh Jackman to do this. Um, I mean, it's not very good. I grew blonde facial hair, so it's not like crazy outstanding or anything. But it's you know, it's it's cool. My coach, uh, Coach Buck, tr tried to tell me just look as scary as you can, and he told me to not shave it. So do you have to keep it now that you got second? Um, we'll see. I mean, I mean, I I'm not sure if I'm doing any more racing. I might shave it off for when I go home to Australia, but it, it may pop up again. I'm not, not going to promise anything, but it might come up again. Thank you very much.